Might one or both of these be in a local restaurant come September? They still prove a hit with the few fans present. A drizzly afternoon outside started with promise inside when these two let rip. But the buzz soon petered out, leaving the day more defined by significance than quality. As things now stand, Kazuki Uda is back in Division 1 after his latest flooring of Kyokushuho. His 8th win from 10 at Judio 2 puts him second in line to go up, with at least three top-level men coming down. Whenever I get to seven wins, the eighth one feels so far away, so it's great to get it, Uda said. I really want one more, though. First in line to rise is Chiono O on the rung above, whose seventh straight win sparked a wild celebration. He and Uda also topped the scoreboard with 8-win Bushozan after Tohaku Ryu tragically slipped to 7-3. Below them, promotion rivals continue to clothesline each other. Koto Shoho may not be winning single-handedly as Kashiwa expects, but his single-armed strength is a marvel. A lot of sumo weapons on display there, and a fine pulling throw of 165 kilos to finish. In Division 1, Terutsuyoshi wowed again. <laughs> and picked up the standard cash prize from the salt firm almost two years to the day since he beat the same opponent by an ultra-rare leg trip from behind. Wakataka Kage was forced to work round a flat-footed referee, and thereby beat Dai Eisho in successive tournaments. Takano Sho only just, just evaded a career-worst sixth straight defeat. A first ever win over Meisei caused him to say, it doesn't matter that I'm useless against him, I just resolved to go forward and attack. Then, Mitake Umi was supposed to keep his title hopes afloat. But within feet and full view of the leader, allowed himself to be bullied by an inside right onto an outside left, and lost to a troubled Ozeki. 
A yet more troubled Orzeki. lost his three-year unbeaten record against Takayasu, stumbling to 5-5 five and five while Kadoban, and with his three Ozeki pals and Takaro Sho left to fight. Takayasu said it went exactly to script, belt firmly gripped, and hips well down. By then, the red raw sea of chests had parted for Teru no Fuji to seek a 15th straight win, with only injured Kiribayama in his way. And a fearsome pairing of outside right and left throat hold ensured Tedu is yet to drop about to Mongolian compatriots since returning to Division 1. I'm not thinking of anything other than to fight like hell, he insists, but he can almost feel the cup. Only Takakesho and Endo are even in his rearview mirror, and will do well just to stay there given he has Miyogiryu next. A career first perfect score must now be in his mind as he closes in on a third Emperor's Cup from five. Three times the haul of these two combined since we hit 2020. Times they are a-changing.